super excited in this lesson moving forward working within Android Studio. I'd like to demonstrate and talk about the Gradle and then your app dependencies. So on the left navigation pane, notice within the Android drop-down folder, you can either go to Android or Project. So within the Android, I have my app, and then of course I have my Gradle scripts. If you expand the Gradle scripts, you will have two of these. One is the Project News app, which is the name of the app. And then you have the build.gradle, which is the module app. So these two are distinct, okay? One relates to the app itself, and the other Gradle settings is for the entire module. Before I dive into this, if I were to run this app, or before I run this app, notice within the activity.main, I have the SDK version 28, and it's set to automatically be best. So either it's 28 or 27. How do I know this? If I navigate to my tools and click on SDK Manager, brings up the dialog box, and the Android SDK will let me know that the Android 9, which is Pi, is running on API level 28, Android 8.1, which is Oreo, is running on 27, and then Android 8, Oreo 26. So these three are checked. In other words, all of these three different versions of SDK platforms are in use and are installed. With the exception of, of course, updates are available, which I have not updated yet. So we know that 26 API, 27, and 28 are allowed. Let's cancel. I just wanted to show you where that is. Now, if I were to execute this app or run this app, you will notice that the select deployment targets are all grayed out. So I'm not able to actually run the emulator and visualize my app in any device. It says no USB devices or running emulators detected. The easiest way to take a look at is the description here which says the minimum SDK API 27 is greater than device SDK API 26. So this app or this device SDK is based on API 26, whereas my app is actually using 28. And moreover, it's not just 28, it's actually, if I cancel here, I only have two options, 27 or 28. I do not have 26. So there's no way I could run it at this point in time. What I could do, however, is change my Gradle settings, right? And then specify the API within my Gradle. And that's the best way to troubleshoot and take a look at if you are unable to find the emulator or not able to run the emulator. So let me go ahead now that you have a basic understanding. Let's open up our module app here. And within the module app under Gradle scripts, right, you will see different settings. First is applying the plugins, and then you have the Android with the open curly braces. So within the attributes here, you'll notice there's a compile SDK version, which is 28. And aha, we know that our SDK device version is 26. So we know right off the bat that that's the reason why it's not running. And then we have the minimum SDK version 27, and then we have our target SDK version is 28. Now if I scroll down under the dependencies section here, within the open curly braces, you'll also notice that the app compat version seven is also running on 28 SDK version. So I've identified the SDK version here and all I have to do here is change the compile SDK version 26 so that Android recognizes or the emulator recognizes. And as soon as I change, notice there's a red squiggly line tells me there's an error, right? So I need to make sure that the compile SDK version 26 should not be lower than the target SDK version. So therefore, I need to go back to the target here and change this as well. And the error goes away. I can also change the minimum SDK version, need be. And the best way is scroll down and you'll notice additional squiggly lines, which of course makes sense because now I need to change this to 26 as well. 
because that's the implementation version that Android is using. And let's see if there are any other errors. And I think hopefully all the errors are resolved. And of course, I can take a look at the yellow box here. It just says two warnings. The warnings are listed also here. That's the, one of the first warnings, which is not targeting the latest version of Android, which makes sense because I'm using 26 and not the 28 API. And then the next warning is simply letting me know the same thing is newer version of Android support app compact is available. Since I'm using 26.0.0, the newer version will be 28.0.0. So just warnings. Perfect. So once I've specified the SDK version, make sure everything is correct, I need to sync now, right? So this is going to go ahead and sync the new setting. So let's go ahead and click on sync. Gradle project sync is in progress. And once the sync is completed, we'll go back and then take a look at our confirmed settings. But before it actually does, it gives me the error that my that men's SDK version 27 is greater than the target. So I need to resolve this and make sure it's 26 as well. So now our, and that makes sense, right? This could have been changed earlier. So it's 26 and I'm gonna sync again. And this time the Gradle is gonna run. And once it is successful, we'll navigate back to our activity main and try to run the emulator. So we'll just give it a few moments. Perfect. So build completed successfully. Let's navigate to activity.main. And once I'm back onto the activity main.xml file and I run the emulator or run the app itself, voila, perfect. So now you'll see that your available virtual devices are being active, right? So since you're using API 26 for these devices, they are active. And I can pick one of these, click OK. And this is going to run the emulator and bring up the app for me. So we'll just give it a few moments. So here's our emulator starting. It's going to go ahead and refresh itself. And it's going to wait for the target device to come online. I could see this in the status bar. And there we go. It's going to launch the activity and perfect. So congratulations. You've successfully troubleshooted the SDK version. And now you're comfortable with understanding of the minimum SDK version and the SDK version that your app is running. So practice with this. If you have any questions, post in the discussion area. I'll be glad to answer. And with this, let's move to the next lesson.